Okay, thanks to my Google Plus buddy, uh, Bruce Turner, I have this adapter now. Let me see if I can open this up. Uh, just so you can look at it a little closer there, what it's called. I got this from Amazon in one day. Shipping. Amazon is unbelievable. I ordered it yesterday, which was Sunday. I got it today. And here is the adapter. Camera focus in. And this plugs into the iPhone, earphone jack, and so forth. This plugs into an XLR mic, and this I can plug in headphones to play back and monitor and check everything. So I'm going to plug it in and test it. I like this six foot cable for interview purposes. You don't have a whole lot of extra cable that for people to trip on and so on and so forth. Usually you're going to be about this distance away or even closer. Um, now, you can of course use a longer cable if you want to, and I will test this with like a 12-foot cable to make sure it works okay. Um, but the other thing that I would recommend doing is having two of these adapter cables. It's about 30 bucks, so yes, you're, you're spending an additional 30 bucks, but if this adapter cable fails in the field, you're kind of out of business with this rig. So the, the adapter cable is critical. Um, this SM58 mic, these are extremely rugged microphones, uh, they throw them on stage and, and jump on them, and I mean, these things are very rugged, so I, I don't think you have to have a backup of that, and that's about a $100 mic, so that's a good thing. If you get a good quality cable, you probably don't have to have a backup of that, but you might want to, um, but I would definitely recommend a, a high-quality cable as opposed to the, the bargain basement ones. They will fail on you. So anyway, this is the solution that, that um, I think for interviews in the field would be very good. Now, I'm not in a high noise environment here, and the acoustics in this room are pretty good. There's a lot of like furniture and things like that to help with acoustics. But um, out in the field, you're going to have wind noise. You're going to have uh, a lot of ambient noise. Uh, so you want to mic the people up, and you, and you want them talking kind of close to the mic. And hopefully that will help isolate some of that other noise away. Now, if it's windy, you can put a wind sock on this to help buffer the wind, wind noise. And I definitely have those in my kit as well. So anyway, that's it um, for this, uh, this little quickie interview setup for shooting with an iPhone. I'm going to next try this with my NEX7 camera to see if it also works with that. Thanks for tuning in. CraigShip.com.